Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. <laughs> Always excited with you guys. Uh, so today is all about, again, Office 2013. And welcome back to those who have been following these uh, these videos, this series. And today is all about RSS feed. Yes, believe it or not, uh, Microsoft has uh, or is able to integrate RS fees and I'm going to show you guys how to do it two ways with Outlook 2013. So I'm going to go into my beautiful blog site and I'm going to put feed. So these, this is my feed, my BJ Tech uh, News blog. You guys can go check that out. And if you want to subscribe, hey, go subscribe. You know, I do appreciate it. But you find your feed that you want, you want to subscribe to it. Okay, I want to subscribe to myself. And once you subscribe to yourself, you get to this point right here. You could do uh, view my feeds, and it gives you a nice little uh, sidebar. Okay, it's telling you all the feeds that you have subscribed. Now, from my understanding, Microsoft sticks with its own kind, so this will only work with Internet Explorer. Okay, not Firefox and Chrome. So that's something that I probably do later on. Once you subscribe within Internet Explorer. You have to go inside your Outlook, and Outlook, what it does, it syncs up whatever RS feeds you subscribe to, uh, and makes sure you have to subscribe with Internet Explorer. It syncs it up. So the way that you can do that, you go to File, you want to go to Options, and within Options, you want to go into Advanced, and then you want to go all the way to the bottom where it says RS feeds. You want to check these two. Make sure these two are checked. Now, if you're using Outlook for personal use. You're basically configured it with your Gmail or Hotmail or Live or whatever. That's about it. This is all you have to do. But if you are at your job, most likely your office, your Outlook 2013 is hooked up to an exchange and you want to add an RS feed and you want that stuff to be backed up, you need to go into the send and receive option. You want to go to edit. And from edit, you want to make sure that include the selected account and the group is checked off. And then you go, see now, it's not gonna work for me because I'm using a personal account. But most likely, if I wasn't using a personal account, this right here won't be grayed out, and I'm able to go all the way down and check my RS, uh, RSS feed, okay? And I will basically copy or sync it up to my Exchange server to have a copy of it. Now, most likely your IT department is gonna lock that down, so, but if they don't, you could do that. But everything is grayed out for me because I'm using a personal account. So that's why it's grayed out for me. So I'm going to press OK on that. And then when you go to the bottom right here, RAS feeds, it's blank. But most likely, if I shut down my machine, or not shut down my machine, but if I shut down Outlook and restart it, this stuff will be pre populated. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, the second way is you find your RAS feed. Uh, this is the link, and I'm going to do a control C to copy it. And the fastest way for what I've seen, if you right click on the RS feed, you do a add a new RS feed, and you paste that link. I did basically a control P, add it, and it's going to basically say add this RS feed to Outlook. You should only ask description for sources you know and trust. I trust myself, and I'm going to hit yes. And it is syncing up as you can see. I'm gonna click right here, and I am up to date. I'm up to, I know what's going on at my site, but again, uh, I can always go into another site like, uh, you know, Life Hacker, um, Mashable, you name it. If they have an RS feed that I can subscribe to and they have a link, I could just basically do the same. I could just right click here, add another one, and I would have all the latest and greatest tips and news from all the sites. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of All About Office 2013. Please leave comments below and let me know, let me know what you guys think. Do you are you gonna really use this feature, this RS feed? I think it's a cool feature. I don't know if the older versions of Outlook had that. If they did, hey, let me know. Shoot a comment below and uh, shoot me some knowledge. Teach me something. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this web episode and I catch you guys on the next one every Tuesday. Peace out. <laughs>